Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're talking about my watercolor palettes and my watercolors. Uh, this was requested via Instagram and a lot of people showed a lot of interest in my palette and how I use it with my style of painting. So just a little disclaimer, uh, when it comes to watercolors, you really don't need that many uh, colors in order to create beautiful work. But in for me, as an artist, I like having range and um, I like having ch a lot of choice because of my style of painting and the types of portraits and abstract paintings I do. So I like to have a lot of um, variety of colors to choose from. So before I get into my current palette at the moment, I'm going to talk about the first palette that I used and that was this little... Winslow Newton Cotman's, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a student, it's a student kit basically. It's a 12 pan, half, it's a 12 half pan palette and the colours are very limited as you can see with just the basic colours that you would use. Um, don't get discouraged about this type of palette because the, limit, the limited colours. You can really create beautiful works with this. I've created a couple of beautiful portraits with this paint with this kit and um, don't feel like it's not gonna help you create beautiful works because this this pa this palette can um, it comes with a little brush as well and yeah I was using this for about uh, a few months before I upgraded to this bigger one so this is my big palette and this is a 45 half pan palette by Winslow Newton and they're all when they come to you delivered they're all Cotman series so the Cotman series is a student grade paint and I've recently been customizing my palette with professional colors so when you receive the palette um, it comes with a little booklet and I deconstructed my booklet into this type of this swatch so I can't show you the original one, sorry, but um, I did pull it apart. So this palette has four big, big wells and eight smaller wells down here. And then it has a space for a brush if you need it. Um, the, the half pants allow you to customize your palette in whatever arrangement you like or if you want to take out colors. For example, that's what I've done, um, and I will show you which colors I took out from the original palette. So the original palette has 45 colors, but there are duplicates of, um, some, of some of the colors, and those colors are, there are two Chinese whites, there are two ivory blacks, and there are two yellow ochres. Now in my in my kit I don't use any white watercolor because I rather use the the negative space provided by the watercolor paper. Or I'd rather use gouache or pastel pencils to highlight. Now when it comes to black, I don't like using black because I find black very overpowering and very very strong so I don't like to touch black a lot when it comes to watercolor I generally like to use colors like Payne's gray, neutral gray or even indigo just because I feel like when you go to black it's harder it's it's harder to control it because it's such a strong color and the reason I don't use uh, this second ochre in my palette is because I don't really touch ochre yellow ochre that much um, and so I only feel I only need one color so the colors that I have customized are this one right here this one and these two so the colors that they are is Opera Rose, which is a professional series, 
um, series two. And this is like a hot pink. I love vibrant colors, by the way. And aqua green, which is a series three in the professional range as well. I like vibrant colors. I love unique colors. I just like colors that just catch your eye. And this color, Sing Senju in red. So that's my palette and that's how I've arranged it. Um, I don't use all these colors in one go. Generally when I'm painting, I'll use blues or greens or pinks or oranges or just the neutral, you know, neutral natural tones. So, so for me, I like that, I like that choice. Now also in my kit is empty half pens and full pens and I just have this if I want to fill these pens out with one color for example. The half pens I use for colors that like these, the colors that I do I do like having and the full pens are for colors that I love. For example, indigo and Payne's gray. I would fill up a full pen of this uh, if I could later on just because I know I use the color and it's one of my most go-to colors so it's always nice to have these in your kit if you want to customize your palette okay and I know some of you also want to see the original swatches of the original palette now this is the swatches of the palette before before it was customized so this is the swatch close up and as you can tell the colors are very pigmented they're very vibrant and they have they just sit really well on color there's a great sense of transparency as you can see it it fading onto the paper it doesn't it doesn't block light, so I guess the right wording for it is there's a good sense of um, light fastness. I think that's the word. But um, it's I believe I like Cotman's. I like I like water Winslow Newton uh, Cotman's. I like Winslow Newton professional colors. I just think the brand is a really reliable, high quality brand. If you're going to use it, um, it's just one of those trusted brands that I just go to and I've always. So that's my palette. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if there are any questions that you want to ask about my palette or about watercolor in general or anything like that, please give me a shout out, or tweet me, or comment below. And yeah, I also would like to briefly show you guys these uh, aqua pens I have from Pentel, the, the Pentel aqua pen, and I think these are the Sakura. The Sakura um, Apple Pens. Um, I'm not quite sure if I want to do a review of these. I have been playing with these lately, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and you watch my video. Please feel free to watch my other videos, my watercolor portraits, for example, and my coloring videos, or even my um, my Fairy Castle Fairy Pens unboxing video. That, that's also a cool video for that. But um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. If you've come this far, please feel free to click on the links above for my other videos. And if you like that and want to see more videos from me, please click the subscribe button for more updates. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!